Welcome back to the Tiger Room Hangar. This is Mike. I'm coming at you with the weekly news in review for September 29th, 2024, 2024. Now, there's, of course, Transformers news for Masterpiece Legends, all that kind of stuff. But the news is going to be a bit skewed. It's going to be a little strange week simply because they shut down the biggest Facebook vlogger. I'll explain that. Dame Chuck shut down. And it's ridiculous. Well, it's because Facebook sucks and they don't recognize anybody having actual freedoms, but we'll get into that. There's a new superpowers wave, which I was like, hey, I think I already have that Batman. Well, I've got eight more Batmans. I don't know. But it's it's actually a pretty good wave after I looked at it for a bit and let it sink in and thought about it and had some therapy. It's not a bad wave. And then we get into an exclusive BBTS Street Fighter M. Bison recolor. I've already pre-ordered mine, and I've got a lot of good to say about this. Even though it's just a recolor, you don't really need it. And then uh, there's some of this uh, stuff going on at Target, and is it is it the Geek Out? And don't I already have that Wolverine? I don't even collect Marvel. Don't I already have that Wolverine? Uh, I guess I'll ask y'all later when we get to that. Then, convention exclusives for Super 7. Is this uh, some reaction stuff? There's a whole bunch of different stuff going on here. Sorry, that was NECA. I've got some Motu Demo Man stuff to talk about. It's come and gone, but I had a whole dissertation. But Star Wars reintroduces the Slave Leia figure in their version of the Lego version of the good old-fashioned katana coming your way with a cell barge so you can take a break from searching news for p diddy oil bottles and learn about some toys coming up all right what's new at show z store well we've got the magic square Blast off. This is the legend scale one. It is 58 bucks. It will conclude the combiner that I need. I definitely ordered this one, but get in on it before they sell it. They've been selling out really fast, and this is the only component still available, I think, for their Bruticus. And there's a fourth party masterpiece MP59 Rhinox. So if you didn't want to get the official Takara, now you can get the rhinox ko coming soon it doesn't have a release date or anything like that but coming soon is not what it usually says when the pre-orders up it's pretty interesting it's probably going to be here pretty quick now i don't think i'm going to get it i really don't need another one of these because i've got the official but sometimes i do double dip just to see the difference in them still pretty cool 110 dollars and you can actually add it to the cart right now which means it's it's on its way and I'm not going to lie, some of you might want to just drop everything right now and go pre-order the MPU-02 Ramjet if you need these cone heads. This is scaled with the MP-52, the uh, Masteries Takara 3.0, they call it a 2.0, but the first one was pretty good. I think it was a thrust, and then we got the Ramjet coming in at $85 if you're interested in that. Remember, TH reviewer code. And... Fans Toys Gary is the price is up on Shozy now. It's 150 bucks, which that's not bad. I mean that's not bad. 150 times six. That'll be a $900 combiner if there's no special. $400 surprises on the last one from Fans Toys, but it's still not shipping just yet. It's still deposit down, but I see people with pictures of it. When it comes to these combining devastators, I really just care about the combined mode for the most part. I, I'm i going to have the X-Trans bots and I'm going to have the fans toys. And so which which ones will look best in combined mode is my biggest concern. There is fans toys leg, their Gary, in leg mode. And it's going to be a big bot. That's all I got to say. Because there is going to be more to that connection point there. But not I'm not sure how much more to that connection point. Plus it's six bots, but thought this was a really good picture to show you the size of that leg and the size of the, the Gary. And yeah, I think that that stacks up really well. And he got gotcha. you. 
All right, so what's going on with Dame Chuck? Well, what is Dame Chuck? A lot of you probably don't, don't even know, but this is the largest vlogger for Transformers in general. But this is where a lot of people get information from Chinese manufacturers, distributors, or just people that live in the vicinity that get the prototypes. They're the first ones to get their hands on these figures. And so they post this stuff on Weibo. Now, I don't have a Weibo account, and a lot of people don't have a Weibo account. So they post it on Weibo, but then it gets reposted to Facebook through Dame Chuck. And that's how a lot of people get these pictures and information. This is a huge way the community gets information. They were, well, he was shut down. So Dame Chuck's a vlogger that was shut down from Facebook. Now, the theoretically what happened is somebody else cloned his account and then accused him of cloning that account and so Facebook shut the original one that's been there for 10 years down over the new one now that's the the word on the street I don't know how true it is I don't know how accurate that is but I can tell you right now as I'm talking right now Dame Chuck is not available in any way shape or form on Facebook and if you do searches on Google you can see remnants of it and links to it but it's it links you to a broken page so it's not working this is terrible and Facebook sucks let's just say this Facebook is a necessary evil right now kind of like YouTube I don't want to say YouTube sucks oh, YouTube's okay but YouTube is the biggest platform is, is rumble better what well, it could be it really could be a way better platform but right now YouTube dominates, Facebook dominates in social media, and that's just the way it is. So with that, we're getting into some Masterpiece stuff here. Now, we have X-Transbots. I think this is going to be the next X-Transbots figure they put out, and this is their downshift, and i got to say that it looks pretty good, and I want to throw this up. This is a G1 version of Downshift. You can see it's Transbots version. And I, if you're a kid that got the Mellaway, thought you were special, they were special, had these, these saw every bit as much time and playtime and fun as you had with an Optimus Prime, then you appreciate this. Or at least I do. And then, anyhow, it is cool. It's exciting that it's getting put out. All right, let's go around the back side here and check this out from the back. It looks pretty good. Now, this is a video that was spinning. I took a screen capture in it, so it was already a low-res video on a camera and a vertical camera. There's so much to it. But anyway, this is the best that we've got right now. We don't have a bunch of great pictures. I bet you there were some on Dame Shock, but uh, anyhow, this is what we got from X Transbots. But I'm excited for this. This looks really good. We got pictures of the artwork and the box, so it really does feel like this is the next one coming. Coming pretty soon. They call it... Yaguchi, and the, the, this is next to the Fioravante. So when you put the boxes together, you should be able to make a collage kind of deal, and that's how they've been working this stuff for a while now. Just real quick, just showing this is more stuff from, straight from X Transbox, but nothing really new. But we've got two of their uh, Constructicons uh, that they've they're going to be putting these out soon, but I don't have a date, a release date. I'm not really sure, but. Getting into release dates, I actually have some release dates from Fans Toys indirectly. So we're hearing December is when we get, and it's not technically Fans Toys because it's what, Fantastic Model? They're Marge, but it is Fans Toys, I guess. Anyway, their Ultra Magnus should be out in December, theoretically, if everything goes well. And well, what, what does that mean? Well, that means that if we follow this order, then before that, we should be getting, of course, their first, their Gary, and that should be coming between now and maybe October, November. I'm not really sure exactly when it will fully drop, or when I'll be able to get my hands on it. But then somewhere either late December or early January, we should get the second figure in their Devastator lineup. And then, of course, sometime in 2025, we're going to get <laughs> gonna get their berserk or whatever they're calling that one and then we can finish up their minotaur so this is the expectation the order of release for fans toys fans hobby mb21 armada tidal wave color prototypes so fans fans hobby inundates us with pictures of their products and then we get a little bit more next week and a little bit more next week a little bit more next week that's just kind of how it goes there but there it is and i just want to say that this is a big one, I want to see somebody do this next to a Titan class. I'm curious how big this 
really is, since I don't have these other two figures in my collection, but I feel like it's going to come up way short versus a Titan class, but I still think it looks amazing. I don't want to spend too much time on this because I feel like I talk about this every single week, but the AMK Pro Series, this is the Transformers 1 movie cogged figures. Now, as you can see, they're significantly larger than the Hasbro mainline Voyager. Voyager is about the same scale as the leader class, but you can see some other stuff that's back there that's more commander class and definitely bigger. And I'm happy because that's they're sort of in the scale that they've been operating with their first one with the Prime and the Megatron. And I think they look good. And I have three of these on order. I'll be taking a look at them when they come in, but pretty excited for it. I don't really want to spend too much more time on it, but I do think these look good. They're cool. Even if you, maybe you don't like the media, maybe you like the media, maybe you like the designs, maybe you don't like the designs. I still think these are the best looking of all the options that are out there. All right. Aside from Magic Square and their, is it Blast Off? Did I say that right? This is the... New Age Louie, it should be shipping soon. Louie, 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 Louie. It's Blaster, of course. You can see that. But I just want to point out that should be shipping out soon. That should be one that's coming. And I, I would have more pictures, but, you know, we have issues. But I think it looks great. I think the paint looks great. And I've got, I'm going to get mine on the way. And sort of compared to Magic Square and all that kind of stuff, just like usual. All right, swinging over to Hasbro. Hasbro still makes Transformers, by the way. There are some which, ah, product info updates. Age of the Primes, Commander Silverbolt, Titans, Star Convoy, more. So let's get into looking at this. So the Age of the Primes, there is the Commander Silverbolt, which is the uh, Commander Class $90 figure that you come with all the combining parts for what should be a pretty awesome Superion. And then we have the Prime Titan Star Optimus Prime Star Convoy. Then there's the Generation Selects G2 Dinobots. And um, <laughs> it's not confirmed if they're core or leader. So it would really suck if they were just the core Dinobots, wouldn't it? I think that we should get all the leader Dinobots redone in G2 because they're that good. And enough people would want it. Uh, the Retro Inspired Sea Spray Deluxe. There is a Retro Inspired Deluxe Brawn. There's a Bullseye Studio Series Voyager Optimus Variant. A Studio Series Voyager Megatron Variant Bullseye. I'm guessing that has to do with Target. Yeah, Target. And then there's a Target Studio Series Deluxe Sideswipe and a Target Wheeljack. Those Target ones usually are even more sort of along the lines of more G1-esque or more matching the media a little bit more. But anyhow, that's the stuff. I'm curious about the retro-inspired Sea Spray and Brawn. I look forward to seeing that. And those are Walmart exclusives and fan channel exclusives for the G2 Dinobots. So we saw this Monster Hunter picture, and now we're actually going to see the real deal. The real deal is right here, and that's the actual here. So I'm hearing from people that they believe, this isn't fact, this is a belief in other people's opinion, that this was based on the Air Razor figure and then heavily retooled from Air Razor, which it makes sense because that's what they do with all these crossovers. They take an existing sort of mold, but it's a concept of mold and, and the transformation and all that, and then they retool certain parts to make it look different, and voila! So that's cool. That's interesting. I'm not interested. I'm not the target market for this. I probably won't. I will not be getting this. But some people will. And if you're in it, let me know in the comments below. All right. So some stuff about the Target Geek Out Transformers is that we're supposed to be getting a DevCon. They put it as a maybe. The thing is that that's what they're hearing, but it's still not up yet and nobody's seen it. But evidently this sold out and it wasn't found anywhere. I saw it several times, but I passed on it waiting for a sale and I, i'm not really upset that i missed out on it or anything but my son would have actually liked to have gotten one and so with that if i see one i'll grab one for him but uh this has not actually shown up yet this is overlord overload overload for the studio series um hashtag not my not my devastator but it's still there is it supposed to be devastator 
I'm a little confused when we get to some of these studio series movie things, but it's, in my opinion, part of the Devastator. I, I'm, I'm not sure. We'll find out. Anyway, this is one of the things that's up right now. All right, this is Soundwave, the Target Fall Geek Out. And I got two specific things to say about this one here. This is a lot of silver. <laughs> and that is a Mercedes symbol. Anyway, cool stuff. Quick update. We are seeing retailers getting the Dramatic Capture Series Triple Takeover if you need these. I don't need these any of these figures myself, so I didn't order it at all. But, letting y'all know, it's up for order at those places. They're getting them in. If you're looking for them, these three. Yes, you'll have to get a Starscream. And I'm sure you've got two different versions of the Starscream already. But, the other two, you might not have. Alright, so, there's information on a new permanent standalone Transformer store coming to the UK. And it's going to have different merchandise, such as toys, films, comics. It's all going to be in one place. A striking graffiti mural on the walls there. So, cool, interesting stuff. A Transformer standalone store. And I'm curious to see what all they have in it. What kind of Transformers do they have? Will they have a good selection of fans, toys, and X-Transpots? Probably not. All right, so Friday I made a video talking about Battle Beasts and will we get Masterpiece Battle Beasts? And little did I know that there was already a crowdfund going on. And that's pretty interesting. This crowdfund is actually called Combat Creatures. And they look exactly like Battle Beasts and their Masterpiece scale. And it's 120 bucks for four that are like six or seven inch scale figures. I actually need to look a little bit more into it. It does kind of show this, so this is uh, 35 bucks each, I guess is what it's saying right here. But I did see, you know, all four for 120 And I'll do a little more research on this, talk a little bit more about this. But uh, the, I didn't even know this was a thing. I made a whole video about Battle Beast and everything that I've seen come and go over the last, uh, what, 40 years. And then this is going on right now. Really cool, really awesome. I'm probably going to be in on it because this just looks really that, that great. It's that cool. But it's over there on Kickstarter. It is called Combat Creatures, created by Bow Hacking, six and a half inch scale or one twelfth action figures. Offers thirty one points for articulation. I watched a video of them, and it's cool too because I like it when creators show you the steps on the way. And there's a video of they got all of them in, but this isn't right. This isn't good enough. This is good. This is bad. Uh, one of the accessories didn't fit into. The side, the hip, right? So we got to adjust that. I, I like that kind of stuff. It's kind of fun. I get a kick out of it. But I think these are really awesome. And I'm curious to see how far they go with it. I don't think they'll do all 112, though. As in 112 characters. Okay, so this is NECA's 7-inch scale Bert and Ernie. The, Bert and Ernie from their Sesame Street line. And I've got to say that they look really good. If this is something you want to collect. I'm definitely on the fence about it. I, it's not something I ever set out to want to collect i mean rubber ducky you are the one but they do look pretty cool pretty interesting i i kind of like the look of them i think they nailed it and i just can't i can't say much more about neca neca nails the figures and you know the turtles look great pretty much everything i've gotten from neca looks great these look awesome oh yeah and you can get them at like entertainment earth or toy store uh toy geek chosen prime probably every target in the u.s Sticking with NECA, the New York Comic-Con uh, 2024, you'll be able to grab NECA show exclusive starting today, which was the 25th through the 27th. I'm sorry, you missed that boat. Sorry, you missed that boat. Anyway, uh, the Ben Cooper costume collection skeleton girl, six-inch glow-in-the-dark clothed figure, the what a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, Kevin Eastman, Garbage Man, seven-inch scale, and then we have the Universal Monster glow-in-the-dark, Retro Invisible Man 7 inch scale exclusives. In other news, let's turn around this corner and see some curvy action with the Tekken 8 SH Figuarts. Nina Williams figure, and this looks pretty cool. I think they did a pretty good job with this figure. Uh, I, I don't know much about Tekken 8, and I don't know this character, 
but I can see a good looking figure when I see one I can tell you it's a good looking figure so that's about it if you just like collecting this style of action figure some female figures it's priced around 65 US dollars and it's 6.9 inches tall okay some turtle news here Joy Toys put out four inch shredder and now this is stylized they are not trying to follow any sort of well I'm sure there's media that they're following but they're not trying to follow definitely not the cartoon I think it looks cool still not for me I don't think I'd be picking that up but the foot soldier looks different too so this is still cool and it's very reminiscent in a way but with the armored up and I, you know I gotta say I would have probably taken the foot soldiers a lot more serious if they look like this rather than what they actually look like in the cartoon All right, Demo Man, I had a whole discussion plan, like a whole minute, <laughs> to talk about Demo Man and how it didn't sell out. And then last night it sold out. So I'm not sure what took it from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and all day Saturday until it sold out. But it sold out last night. So the thing about it is that uh, the deep cuts in Masters of the Universe aren't selling out that well. And it's still like more popular characters that sell out. And that's with a lot of the toy lines, but it's for a few reasons. And one reason is less people that are interested in collecting and less people that feel like it's worth the money to spend the money on it. But it still sells out. Origins still sells out. Now, we still have a few things from Masterverse that are on there that haven't sold out yet. And it tells me that more people are dialed into Origins. And more people are dialed into the Origins toy than Cartoon. But we did see that Cartoon Too Bad sell out because a lot of people probably don't think we'll ever get a toy too bad. Anyhow, I did order mine. I don't have it yet. All right, the next wave of DC Superpowers. Wave 9 has Bizarro, Superman, Riddler, Batman, and get this. They're actually making a Superman. So the Superman head looks a little bit different, a uh, little slightly different color variation, which it's the exact color as the Bizarro, anyhow. The Batman looks like something I already have. Overall, not a bad wave. Could it have been better? Well, yeah. I mean, I don't understand what he's doing with this line. Why don't we? Why didn't we not knock out the 33 and then give us like the Wonder Twins and some of the stuff that we didn't get everybody wants to make customs of and then get into remaking all of the figures over again for eight times we don't need a batman we don't need a superman we don't need we don't need all that but it's still an okay wave but this is going to make you buy batman 90 times i don't know you say well you don't have to buy any of it and you're right you don't have to buy any of it but it would have been fun it's like sucked the fun out of it because doing the checklist it's like all right i've got batman number seven and eight where's batman nine it's it's frustrating to collectors i'm not as deep into it I'm finding out as I thought I'd be, but still an interesting wave and definitely going to have to get Riddler. Where's my vac metalized cyborg? I'd buy 10 of those. Okay, I'd probably only buy like three cyborgs, but still, I'd have to have one to open and it'll be my cyborg. So I'm not paying 600 bucks for a vintage Kenner. All right, getting into this bison, it's a recolor version of bison for the... As a BBTS 25th exclusive. Now, I did go over there and pre-order mine, so you can pre-order yours. I gotta say a lot of good things about this, and I'm not even 100% sure. Is this considered, like, the Player 2 recolor? But with that, this is only 25 bucks, and it's an exclusive. How come all the other exclusives are 40 that you gotta go through Jada Toys? I haven't bought any of those $40 ones, because they're recolors. They have some extra accessories with them, but uh, with this for 25, it makes sense. And I don't have to pay an additional shipping because I can ship with my stuff to BBTS. So really, I like it. I'm glad BBTS did this one. It's a cool recolor for a reasonable value, a reasonable price. But I'm really more excited about more characters. All right, as I'm not highly knowledgeable about the Marvel Legends stuff over here, I will say that I don't know anything about Venom Pool. I didn't watch the new Deadpool movie, so is Venom... I guess I should ask my son, because I dropped him off. It's a pretty cool 
looking figure. I just don't know anything about it. Uh, we already talked about the Transformers here, and then it looks like the exact same Wolverine I bought last year. So it's, uh, is it, it's a good thing that you just keep putting the same one out. Are they going to put it out next year too? And in 2027, 2025, 6, and 7? I don't know. Probably. All right, Diego Classified News. We have Raptor showing up, and people are getting their Raptor. You can get it at different places, such as BBTS, Entertainment Earth, Amazon, uh, Hasbro Pulse. <laughs> Hasbro Pulse had it, has it, whatever. I passed on this. I think this is the mid-price point one, where it's like 35 bucks or something along those lines. And uh, the reason I passed on it was because I don't really like the look of it. And if I catch it cheaper somewhere, I'll grab one, but I'm not too concerned about it at all. But I didn't like the mechanical wings. Some people love it. They think it makes a lot more sense. It's, it's I guess if they had mechanical wings back in the day, then I'd like the mechanical wings more. Wonder what they do with the retro. Like I've said before, I just wonder what they do with the retro. And I thought it was a cool figure. I have the vision vintage figure, probably my childhood one. I think it is a cool figure overall. But it is just different. It's too much of a departure for me and a lot of fans. I want to show this that I didn't pre-order anything from this last round. And because I've been canceling a lot of BBTS pre-orders because I'm finding them at Target. But I'm not finding them all at Target. And I didn't pre-order a, a Saw Viper, which I should have. And now it's sold out. Pre-order sold out at BBTS. And usually they don't get them back in stock. And then, uh, I guess, somewhere along the lines, they got more vamps. I didn't hear about this, but they got them, but not for 100, 129. They sold out. Limit two per customer. So I never even heard about this, but, yeah, I guess it came and went. All right, we got some updates from Ramen Toy that I am excited about, and that is the, the 80s Commander's Antagonist Scientist, and this is sort of like a doctor that would wreak terror and havoc on people. But this looks pretty cool. I'm not 100% sure if they're going to be doing two different versions like they did with their hacker, but they might. And so I'd have to buy both versions, but I'm looking forward to this. I think it looks really cool. And um, I'm hoping Gunnaman gets them in too. Here's how you can combine them together and they can go out and have some fun. This is uh, So you ever done like a like a potato sack race or something like that the three-legged race there it is and then here we go with their cyborg parts combining to make the ultimate cyborg and all that through magnets which is real cool and a lot of fun ramen doing some great stuff also their brave star i think i got my brave stars in so i may i might be trying to work that into making a review of that eventually but pretty cool stuff it kind of sucks on the last person on the planet to get the brave star so i'm not in a huge hurry to review it now but this is pretty exciting. All right, so it's Star Wars news. I got to tell you, I'm happy that there's not a bunch of Star Wars stuff that I want to buy. That's that's perfectly fine with me. This Death Trooper is cool. It's one six scale. It's uh, hot toys. I don't do the doll life. I'm not about the doll life. I don't do the twelve inch. Uh, mostly for space and cost. I don't I don't really want to buy two hundred fifty three dollars figures, but it looks cool. I mean, everything that Hot Toys makes looks exactly like it, it came right out of the screen although I don't ever remember seeing this on screen maybe it was in Ahsoka anyhow there it is if you're interested in it this is the Mandalorian Shriek Hawk uh, we remember talking about this but it's going to be shipping sooner instead of November 19th it's October 18th which is interesting too because I actually got my turtle notification for my, what is it, the Technodrome? Yeah, so that's going to be October 18th also, which is interesting that October 18th, so much stuff swirls around that nexus of that date. I wonder why. But uh, anyhow, this is, if you ordered it, it should be shipping a month earlier. So if you're into Lego, you might like this sail barge. This is kind of interesting. I have to admit, it is interesting. Uh, not a whole lot. Of, I, don't, I don't see the price in it yet. I know that it's going to have a lot of pieces. <laughs> I don't do Lego either. I did put together a Lego Voltron, and i got to say I don't ever want to do that again. But I understand a lot of people enjoy building this stuff. I did not enjoy building that Lego Voltron at all, but 
Uh, it's cool what it does. The whole side panel folds down. You can see the scene. The way it's set up, it is cool. It, I have to admit, it's cool. I saw a Lego Star Destroyer. It was huge. And something like that. It was huge. It was massive. And I thought that was impressive. I was actually, it was already built and someone was selling it. I was going to buy it. But I was like, man, I just don't do Lego. But this has something in here. It's got the Slave Leia in it. Those people want to call Hut Slayer. Nope. I have documentation. It is called Slave Leia. She is called Slave Leia. The name of her is Slave Leia. And with that, she's in here. So... They're probably going to call her Hut Slayer in the material, though, that's included. But does this open the door for Hasbro or any other companies to make this character and, and give us one that actually is worth looking at? Aside from that one in, that they did back in the day for Black Series was terrible. And then the one they did in the Vintage Collection wasn't too bad. And then the one they did is just really dated. The one they did back in The Power of the Force. But anyhow, cool looking barge overall still like the one they did has a lot better what a strange week of news a lot of going ons going on and a lot of stuff out there but there's probably gonna be a whole lot more as time goes by and a lot of sales we're probably gonna see going into the holiday season but i really do hope we get dame chalk back and uh that's just wrong if that's what really happened to him. But let me know what you guys think about this week's weekly news interview. And of course, what did I miss? Because I'm sure there's a lot of stuff out there that I didn't see. Like and subscribe. Put your hanger out.